guys, my name is Kristen Lamont. Today I'm going to show you how I curate um, a capsule wardrobe for my son. The very first thing I want to say is that I live in Southern California, so this is his fall wardrobe, but it's going to be more for a warmer climate. Um, the tips and tricks that I'm going to say today can help, like if you have a newborn, if you have a girl, a boy, it doesn't matter. Um, I just want to give the advice. It took me a little bit to figure out the clothes thing when they're infants, you kind of feel like you need so much clothing. So the very first thing I want to say is to check your local thrift stores. This is a thrift store find, this black denim. These are a thrift store find. I have more stuff that's just like in my car, sweaters and cute things that I found at the thrift store. The second is if you have someone around you who has um, a baby that is a little bit older and they have hand-me-downs, I feel like it's incredible to ask if they have anything that you can maybe buy off of them if it's um, good quality pieces. I account, I give um, credit a lot of Oliver's wardrobe this past year was all from our friend um, who our godson Hudson passed to Oliver and I would text her every morning like thank you so much for these beautiful clothes I'll tell you what she gave us um, and then the third thing is most of his wardrobe is from Zara Zara does have some higher priced items but they also have tons of great basics for great prices um, I compared a lot of prices when I'm when I'm shopping I'm always like is this the best deal is this the best quality for the best deal and my conclusion was it was worth it to purchase from here um, and I'll, t I'll try and put the prices if I don't say them Zara clothing just lasts forever these are three to six month shorts and Oliver has been wearing them since three months and he still wears them right now and he is about to be two there's just something about the quality of them they just now started getting a little hole something that can be patched up easily but they just fit forever. The next tip, I guess, is to always size up. These are a pair of pants that I got from Zara when he was 11 months, 10 months old. Um, he wore these to Thanksgiving, he wore these to Christmas, he wore these for the family photos that year, and they are still fitting him this year. So size up, I just roll the top, I roll the bottoms, and they last a lot longer. Um, so let me show you his winter, his Southern California winter wardrobe. Okay, so I already talked about these pants. These are um, not a corduroy. It's hard to kind of... They are softer. I always love to get him soft pants. I've never purchased a pair of jeans for him because they're just not comfy for him. There are some stretchy ones as are, but anyway, so these are size 12 to 18 months. He's had these for a long time. So he has that pair of pants left over from the last year. This was a hand-me-down to him. This is size two to three years from Zara. So hand-me-down from Hudson. So these are part of his winter capsule wardrobe. And then these were a gift. They are from Tucker and Tate, which is at Nordstrom, a little bit more expensive. Um, and these are still fitting him. I got these when he was probably nine or 10 months old. So they will roll over into this fall. Um, so I did not actually purchase any pants for him this year because I felt like these three were enough. And so now I will get into shirts. So at Zara they have these shirts for $5.90 and I got them in the size th two to three years. I think I got other ones are three to four. So this is a two to three. This is literally going to fit him for a couple of years and white is great if it ever gets stains you just get it wet lay it out in the sun and the sun will bleach it for you so we have one long sleeve shirt this is their like mock neck this one is also $5.90 it's such a good price like I compare that to H&M and Target so I got that one white is just so easy to clean it is easy to get dirty but it's easy to clean I also got that coat that shirt in a gray we go through shirts more often so I do like having more tops and then this is also oh this is a seven dollar and ninety cent shirt i liked the detail that see that is like pricey for me it's an almost eight dollar shirt but i got this in the size two to three years and like that's so much space for him and then you just roll the sleeves up and i love having the oversized tops with tighter pants i like like the um balance of that oh i i forgot these pants are also Zara. We purchased these when he was nine months old, and they're going to roll over into this year. These are perfectly fitting him. They're 18 to 24 months, 
and this is like exactly his right size right now um, so that's why I size up so that the other ones can fit longer so I'll tally up what his wardrobe is and I'll show you after the fact the other thing, so now going to jackets, so those are all the shirts I have, and then also, like, I was going to say, um, our family does, like, gift him some stuff. I mean, Oliver loves tractors, so I'm not going to restrict him from having a tractor shirt. So, we do have some random long sleeves that, like, were gifted, and he will pick a tractor shirt over a plain shirt every day. So, that's also in there. I'm not going to lie and be like, it's this perfectly color-coordinated there's tractor shirts. I got him this, oh I died, this little sweatshirt and this was, let me tell you the price, $19.90. This is probably going to be the most used item. Um, so I got a dark color and this is going to be worn every single day. I'll probably put a shirt, this, and then on the really cold days I'll put a jacket on but here where I live, like, I mean it's November right now and it's 92 outside so. I got him a sweatshirt and then I for the jackets we this was a hand-me-down from Hudson he's been wearing this for um, a long time now I just roll everything and I really like this one the only thing about this one is the sleeves aren't lined so it keeps his little chest warm and then um, it's just a little bit cooler that was a hand-me-down so I did go ahead and purchase him this and it's Sherpa lined all the way through the sleeves so this is kind of like his cold, his cold nights. And I got this in the size 3 to 4. So this will last him until hopefully 4. Um, maybe even longer, depending on how big he is. And the price on this one is a little bit more expensive, $35.90. That's why I sized up. But you know, jackets, like, they can be bigger. I love oversized jackets. This isn't oversized. And then this was a hand-me-down, which is a blessing. But for when we go on... Oh, how cute from when we went on walks. He has stuff collected in his pockets. A big puffy jacket from Zara. This is in size 18 to 24. And this is great. We used this when it was snowing outside up in Arizona. And it was great. Um, so part of Southern California is I do have to have some short-sleeved shirts in his winter wardrobe. So here's his clothing drawer right here. So, like, I got this Zara shirt, and these are all, I have not purchased any short sleeve shirts. This is all left over from when he was, like, nine months old. I purchased some big ones. So, two hand-me-down Zara shirts, and there's a few other, like, Mickey Mouse ones in there. Now that Disneyland's closed, we haven't been wearing Mickey Mouse shirts, but I have them. Um, and then I did purchase him one, like, kind of dressier piece. I'm afraid that this might be too big. Um, but I got this. I usually get one thing that's more expensive to wear for holiday pictures, Thanksgiving dinner, and Christmas dinner. And uh, this is in size 3 to 4. And it was $25.90. It might be too big. I'm going to try and roll it and see, but I might have to exchange it for a different size. So yeah, like one dressy outfit. And like, no one cares if your child outfit repeats, you know? It doesn't matter. Um, for hats... This trusty Carhartt beanie has been in use since he was a few months old. It used to like stick up on the top. I'm going to try and insert pictures and right now it fits his head perfectly. Um, this was off of Amazon for eight or nine dollars. Solid. Um, they have different sizes. This is like I think infant or toddler. And then I purchased a new one for this year. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see him. This was $15.90. Definitely more of like a splurge. I got it in size 1 to 3. And I love the beanies that tie at the bottom. I cannot wait to see them in this. And then the last thing, well not the last thing. So then for footwear, um, Zara had these great packs of socks for $9.90. So I got the fall colors and then I got some of these because the last socks he had, I actually saw them right here. My mom got, my mom got these for him when he was a teeny tiny baby and so he's just out growing these and we needed some new socks they always just get lost because they get thrown and lost because they're small so yeah two pairs of socks and the pack comes with four pairs so I got him eight pairs of socks and then I want to talk about footwear um, we have two brands that we swear by the only shoes we'll buy because 
like there's just such a difference in like going maybe to Old Navy or something and getting a pair of flip flops that maybe aren't as comfortable for them um, that fall apart if you buy one pair of cheap flip flops and they break you have to buy another pair so um, thankfully my mother-in-law and my mom have both purchased his footwear so we just try and get one good quality pair and Striderite is the best that I've tried we love Striderite um, when they are first walking they have like first walker shoes and the toes are like rounded so that they don't trip and get stuck as much and there's like you know studies behind how it fits their foot and the movement and stuff and it helps support their feet and um, like keep them not like crunched into weird positions and just like move naturally and oh I can pull actually I have his old shoes right here so this is his first pair of walking shoes ever and you can see the rounded edge and look at how cute and worn in they are oh okay I will so now that he's not wearing these anymore these will be a keepsake that I'll keep forever and that just makes my heart happy to think we only purchase one pair and then it's something that's important to me so it's not like a bunch of waste it's not a bunch of clutter and then the other thing for like summer shoes um, water these are waterproof and they're by footmates they look kind of like the saltwater sandals but Oliver's ankles did not fit in saltwater sandals and I love these more because they're velcro um, the saltwater sandals are buckles only and like same thing with these like I will here let me do this I will keep these forever so they are waterproof you can see like they're really good quality the rubber sole on the bottom and I love like just how they're shaped and he's never ever gotten blisters from these and they're great quality and so these are his by Strider and then he has one new pair of these and love them so that really wraps up his curated minimalist capsule wardrobe all those fun words um, so I will tally up and tell you everything that I have gotten for him to maybe give you an idea of what you need for your child okay the last clothing thing that I purchased is some PJs and I get him two pairs of PJs we keep our house at 74 and these like lightweight long sleeve pant PJs are perfect my absolute favorite PJs are by the brand Burt's Bees let's see if I can get that to focus this is in a size 4T um, because this will fit him long term these are his Christmas jammies they are $13.95 on Amazon they are non-toxic and great this is the other pair so this is the pair that I got him last year in November and they still fit him now because I sized up they are 2T and they are they fit him perfectly right now so Burt's Bees size up like two sizes and they will last you for a really long time and these are these are an essential for a wardrobe I almost forgot okay so for pants I do have four pairs of pants I think you could get away with three we have we have like probably five short sleeve shirts that I use during the summer. We have four plain long sleeve shirts and then also some graphic ones. Um, so I think I could get by with about six shirts. We have one light sweatshirt and then I also do have um, a light zip up jacket that was gifted to Oliver from, it's by Tucker and Tate. And so maybe like two little light jackets, one dressy piece for the holidays. I think you could get by with only one hat but this is like since when he was really little so I have two hats one thick winter jacket one um, this is like snow and this is like in the 50s you know so one thicker jacket and this was a hand-me-down so I only purchased this one and we have eight pairs of socks um, one pair of sneakers and one pair of sandals because Southern California is unpredictable and two pairs of PJs so that gets us through the winter one last thing I want to talk about is these bamboo diapers by get diaper we've been using these for over a year and a half now and they are compostable made from bamboo super um, non-toxic like made with nothing harmful and we love them you can purchase them through the link in my description um, I do get a small commission if you purchase through them so I just want to mention get diaper 
And then I also want to mention Azaria. Azaria diaper bags are like my all-time favorite diaper bag. Um, I get to be, uh, what's it called for them? and like an ambassador. Um, basically I just get to make review videos of their diaper bags and I have fallen in love. I've been using them forever. I've tried all of the top name brands that you can get at Nordstrom or whatever and these are 100% the best. So um, I have lots of videos about them on my channel and then you can shop through my link if you want to and then that gives me a little commission. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope that um, this kind of just feels like inspiring and like minimal and like not pressuring you to purchase more stuff but almost like helping you purchase less stuff to have less clutter in your home, to have less laundry to do, to save money so that you can spend your time and money on important things in life because shiny things don't bring happiness and yeah, less stuff feels like a big deep breath to not have tons of clutter in your house. So that's something that I am striving for in life is just to be more minimal, more um, just conscious of where my time and money is going. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Bye.